Welcome back to the channel. Today we are offering you an authentic international language certification test. By taking the test, you will be able to test your listening skills, which is one of the four main skills you should always work on as a student of English. The format today is the International English Language Testing System Listening Test. This test is designed to assess your ability to listen and understand spoken English in a variety of settings. There are four parts to this test, and you will have 30 minutes to complete all of them. You will hear a variety of accents, so it is important to listen carefully to the recordings. If you enjoy improving your English, make sure to subscribe to our channel, give a like, then hit that notification button. This way we can continue to provide you with educational content like this one. During the test, we will display the questions on the screen. However, you can also download the questions via the link provided below the video. Good luck! You will hear a number of different recordings. You will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section 1. Section 1. You will hear a conversation between a sales assistant in a computer store and a customer who is interested in buying a new laptop. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. Now, let's begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, as you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully, and answer the questions 1 to 5. Good morning, how may I help you today? Hi, I'm interested in buying a new laptop. Can you recommend something for me? Sure, what type of laptop are you looking for? Are you after a specific brand, or do you have a certain use in mind? I'm looking for a laptop for everyday use, for work and personal purposes. I don't have a specific brand in mind. In that case, I would recommend a MacBook or a Windows laptop like the Dell XPS 13. Both of these models have a good balance of performance, portability, and affordability. I've heard good things about the MacBook Pro. What makes it a good choice? The MacBook Pro is a popular choice because of its sleek design, extremely long battery life due to its M2 chip, and powerful performance. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen, and answer questions 6 to 10. It's also lightweight and easy to carry around, making it a great option for those who are always on the go. How does it compare to the Dell XPS 13 in terms of performance and price? The Dell XPS 13 is a little more affordable compared to the MacBook Pro, and it has a somewhat lower level of performance. If you are going to do lots of video editing, the MacBook Pro is the way to go. However, the XPS 13 also has a long battery life compared to other Windows laptops, so it's a great option if you need a laptop that can last you all day, and if you don't need the fastest laptop around. Alright, I think I'll go for the MacBook Pro. Can I see it? Of course, let me just grab one for you. Here it is. It's really lightweight, and I love the design. Can I take a look at the specs and features? Sure, let me just bring up the information on our screen. This MacBook Pro comes with 16GB of memory, a 512GB solid-state drive, and the new M2 Apple chip. It also has a beautiful 14-inch retina display, which is perfect for watching videos, browsing the web, and working on your projects. It seems like a great choice. I'll sleep on it, but I'll get back to you soon. Okay, sounds like a plan. Looking forward to talking with you again. Section 2. You will hear a person talking about the impact of social media on our lives. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 14.
Listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 14. Social media has taken over our lives like a storm, and there's no denying it. We've become so dependent on it that we can't imagine a day without scrolling through our feeds. From reconnecting with long-lost friends to sharing our latest achievements, social media has changed the way we interact and communicate with the world. But what impact has it had on our personal relationships, particularly families, couples, and children? Gone are the days when families used to sit down for dinner and have a conversation. Today, everyone is busy checking their phones and catching up on their social media. While this has certainly brought families closer in terms of staying updated on each other's lives, it has also created a divide. Dinner table conversations have been replaced with silence as everyone is lost in their own virtual world. But hey, at least now families can share funny memes and videos together. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 15 to 20. Now listen, and answer questions 15 to 20. Social media has also had a major impact on couples. On one hand, it's a great way to stay connected and share experiences with each other, even when you're miles apart. On the other hand, it can also lead to jealousy and trust issues. Nothing quite ruins a romantic dinner like your significant other checking their ex's Instagram page. And let's not forget about the impact social media has had on children. From cyberbullying to a distorted view of reality, social media has a lot of negative consequences for kids. On the bright side, it has also made it easier for kids to access information and connect with others who share their interests. But let's make sure to monitor and guide our kids' social media use to ensure it doesn't interfere with their development and well-being. Social media has had a significant impact on our personal relationships. While it has its pros and cons, it's important to remember to use it wisely and not let it consume our lives. So put down your phone, go spend some quality time with your loved ones, and remember, life is happening right in front of you. Section 3 You will hear a conversation between a tutor and two students, who are taking classes on modern literary classics. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 24. Good morning everyone. Today we will be discussing George Orwell's 1984 and focusing on character development and motifs. Paul, can you give us a brief overview of the main characters in the novel? Sure. The main character is Winston Smith, a low-ranking member of the ruling party who begins to question his loyalty to the party and Big Brother. Julia is another key character, who is Winston's love interest and also opposes the party. O'Brien is a mysterious figure who may or may not be a member of the Resistance. And what about the motifs in the novel, James? There are several important motifs in 1984, including the manipulation of language through newspeak and the concept of doublethink. Citizens are expected to accept two conflicting ideas as simultaneously true. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 25 to 30. The theme of control and surveillance is also prominent, with the party using telescreens and thought police to monitor citizens. Sally, can you expand on the importance of the thought police in the novel? Sure. The thought police serve as a symbol of the party's complete control over the citizens of Oceania. The thought police not only monitor people's actions and words, but they also monitor their thoughts, which represents the ultimate invasion of privacy and the complete erosion of individuality. The fear of being caught by the thought police 
creates a society where people are constantly wary of their own thoughts and actions, leading to self-censorship and conformity. The thought police also serve as a reminder of the party's power, and its ability to control and punish dissent. Sully, that's a great analysis. The thought police are a central aspect of the novel's exploration of control and power, and they illustrate the dangers of a totalitarian regime, and its ability to manipulate and control its citizens. Paul, can you expand on Julia's role in the development of the novel? Absolutely. Julia serves as a foil to Winston, and represents the human emotions and desires that the party seeks to control. Through her relationship with Winston, the novel explores the tension between individuality and conformity, desire and control. Julia represents a symbol of hope and rebellion against the party, and her character highlights the importance of preserving personal freedom and individuality in the face of a totalitarian regime. Moreover, Julia's character helps to drive the themes of the novel forward and serves as an example of the danger of blindly following authority and the importance of questioning and resisting oppressive systems. Through her actions and relationships, Julia's character demonstrates the resilience of the human spirit, in the face of oppression and the importance of standing up for one's beliefs. Yes, you are quite right. The character development in 1984 is crucial to the exploration of the themes. For example, we see Winston's transformation from a passive, obedient party member to a rebellious individual who begins to question the party's control. Julia's character is also an important aspect of the novel, as she represents the desires and emotions that the party seeks to control. O'Brien's character, on the other hand, highlights the party's manipulation of individuals and the danger of blindly following authority. I agree. Great points. The character development in 1984 really drives home the themes and makes them more impactful. Section 4 You will hear a talk on the evolution of insects. First you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Insects are one of the most successful and diverse groups of animals on the planet, with over a million species described to date. They have been around for over 380 million years, and their ability to adapt to changing environments has allowed them to thrive and diversify in almost every ecosystem on Earth. The first insects appeared during the Devonian period and were primarily wingless. Over time, they evolved the ability to fly, which allowed them to move into new habitats and escape predators. The Permian mass extinction event, which occurred approximately 252 million years ago, wiped out more than 90% of all species on Earth, including insects. However, the survivors evolved and diversified, giving rise to the major insect orders that we see today. One of the key factors contributing to the success of insects is their reproductive potential. Female insects can lay hundreds or even thousands of eggs, which can quickly populate new habitats and adapt to changing conditions. This has allowed insects to thrive in environments that would be inhospitable to other species, such as the Arctic tundra or hot, dry deserts. Another important factor is their ability to form symbiotic relationships with other species. Many insects are pollinators, helping plants to reproduce, while others feed on the nectar, leaves, or other parts of plants, providing important nutrient inputs. In return, plants have evolved to provide food and shelter for insects, creating complex and interdependent ecosystems. Insects also have a unique and highly adaptable anatomy. For example, their exoskeletons provide protection and support while also allowing for flexibility and movement. Their unique mouthparts and digestive systems have allowed them to feed on a wide variety of food sources, including nectar, leaves, and even other insects. 
Despite their overall success, insects have also faced numerous challenges throughout their history. Climate change, habitat destruction, and the introduction of invasive species have all threatened their populations. In recent years, the widespread use of insecticides and the decline of pollinator populations has further endangered many insect species. In conclusion, the history and evolution of insects on Earth is a testament to their remarkable adaptability and success. Despite facing numerous challenges, insects continue to thrive in almost every ecosystem on the planet, playing critical roles in maintaining the balance of life on Earth. As our understanding of insects and their role in the environment continues to grow, it is essential that we take steps to protect and conserve these fascinating and essential creatures. That is the end of section 4. You now have half a minute to check your answers. That is the end of the listening test. You now have 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the listening answer sheet. Mm -hmm.